Hey, 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 welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and in today's video, we're gonna talk about Chanel bags. I just realized I wasn't wearing my rings in the intro, so I needed to grab them. Uh, still married, but um, I have a problem. A few years back, I was kind of like, Chanel is not for me at all. I wasn't interested in the aesthetics and I felt that the pricing was just ridiculous and people were just in it for the double C's. I have to admit that my thinking has changed a tad during the years. I think that's fine. We're all, all allowed to change our opinions, right? Um, and I've also made a video. It was one of my early videos. Not the greatest quality, I have to say. But I've made a video of why the Chanel wallet on chain is really a bad purchase. And I felt that way until this autumn. And that is the motivation for this video. I have a feeling I want more Chanel bags. That's a problem. I don't need them, but I do want them. <laughs> why so all of this started when i was scrolling on a local pre-owned website or maybe they were actually advertising it on their instagram stories because obviously i'm following them but anyway i noticed that they had received a kind of brown maybe a cognac brown wallet on a chain with silver hardware and I really loved the color. I don't have anything brown and I'm kind of really opening up to the color, at least in the past six months or so. I've noticed that I've been looking more and more at brown colored bags, different shades of brown. And I noticed that one popping up and I already had these thoughts in my mind that I kind of would want to get more Chanel bags, not new from the store because I still do agree that the price is just not something I want to go after. But as I have these two, I kind of want more. And I have been more or less open and looking at options, not necessarily thinking of buying. Well, I don't know if I would have found something then maybe, but not really like actively searching, mainly just like scrolling, which is very dangerous by the way. <laughs> but um yeah so i found that wallet on a chain and something kind of clicked in me and i went back on many days to look at it and i was really really considering buying it because the price point for a chanel walk was also pretty good it was sold with 1400 euros in that pre-owned store and they have a very good reputation here in Finland. So I would have believed that it is authentic because they have their own process on how they accept items to be sold at their location. It was not in a pristine condition. So it did show somewhere some, on some parts of the bag. But I really didn't mind because I felt that now I kind of found a combo on a walk that I probably would have been able to have and use and actually purchase because the price level in my eyes was decent um but yeah I, I maybe it was the fifth day or something when i went and looked at it and it was sold <laughs> so it wasn't meant to be it wasn't my bag but after that i kind of have these thoughts stuck on my mind that maybe i would actually want a wallet on chain and absolutely pre-owned uh, back like uh, it can be old it doesn't need to be in pristine condition but I'm a bit like concerned of what's happening in my head because it was such a long time when I was like no Chanel it's not for me the style is not for me it's not it doesn't just like suit me it doesn't look good and then I got my first Chanel bag which is this vintage full flap uh, which I really love the beige color I think is really beautiful and rich uh, hopefully it is visible I'm trying to have a natural light but it's November and I'm filming in the Nordics so natural light is fairly interesting at this time of the year but hopefully the color comes through in the video but it's a really really lovely deep 
shade of beige and once I had this one I started wanting for a black one because of course that's how it happens you kind of get the gateway in and then suddenly you are looking for more. Well, I managed to wait the full year before finding a lovely black um, Chanel bag, also a vintage one. I really, really love this one. I have no intention of dreaming even of the classic flap of any size because I just, that's not for me. I'm more into, let's say, the affordable Chanel styles, aka vintage. <laughs> vintage styles and not the like absolute classics because those prices on pre-owned are also very high so more on these kind of classic featured bags which can be purchased with a better price point in my eyes but yeah so I bought this this springtime and now it is what less than six months since I've again started dreaming of uh a new Chanel bag. Is this some kind of illness? Like once you you kind of get into this, you start wanting more. I don't know what it what's what's the thing there. Uh, it's not like I would be wearing these like every day. Um, I really choose the occasion where I wear my Chanel bags. So for for that reason, I definitely would not need more. I have two in very like classic colorways. Both can be one crossbody, both have a very classic chain on it. This even has the turn lock CC on the bag. And and like everything, these these both have a very like classic appearance on them. Why do I want more? Because I'm me. I can't get enough, apparently. <laughs> so uh, please do try to convince me not to uh look for any new vintage ones or any pre-owned models that would be on reasonable price points because we all know i don't need them because why would i i have no need for, for that type of thing and yet i came up with so many occasions where i could wear the brown uh, walk that I saw which now is gone probably forever I haven't seen that combo anywhere and as I've of course now started looking at what do pre-owned walks cost by the way around like thousand to one thousand five hundred euros more than that brown one uh, so now I'm kind of like I will not pay that money and I don't even know if I'm sad that I did not pay that brown one for like 1,000 brown because that's still a lot of money but it's now stuck in my head that I might want one so now we are in a situation where I am openly admitting that um, two Chanel bags for some reason I want more I want more <laughs> more of those um why I don't have an answer for that and two, I'm openly admitting that I'm eating my words regarding the Chanel walk because if it is possible to find on the pre-on with a good price point, then maybe it actually could be a good deal. What do you think? I don't really know if there was a good purpose for this video more than I just wanted to share and talk about Chanel bags and hoping that someone is out there convincing me not to go that path and uh, just forget about it and that it's not worth any type of money and so on or then you will tell me that go for it and then i will just keep an open mind maybe that was the whole purpose of this one just like sharing chatting hanging out <laughs> talking about bags what else i think we are done with this i don't know if i have anything else to say other than i want more i want more not them all but more. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!